So you want to start by preheating your curling iron. The one I have is by uh, Theory. I'm pretty sure this model isn't made anymore, but it did come with a thicker barrel. If you're someone like me who changes their hair up fairly frequently, it is a good option to have a curling iron that has multiple barrels so that you can swap them in and out based on how long your hair is. I'm gonna blend this in. This one goes up to 450, but for some reason, I just couldn't bring myself up to 450. But 435 in my head somehow was reasonable. And then you wanna prepare your hair for being destroyed by heat. So I'm gonna start with some thermal protection spray. I pretty much mist from like the ear down and I get all over. And make sure you really get the tips. That's really where it shows when your hair is damaged. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> probably heard that. Josh is watching uh, Netflix. And then I use this um, Avita Damage Remedy. It's just like a daily uh, repairing treatment. I put just a little bit. Again, ear all the way down, focusing on your ends. Now I'm gonna section my hair. So I normally put my thumbs at my temples like this, and then I just pull back and I collect pretty much the top half of my hair. And then the rest I leave and I start with the bottom. And then I'm gonna collect that in a bun on the top of my head. Ooh. You're gonna start by taking a section of hair. I take about this much, about an inch's worth. Then I recommend brushing it through before you bring it to the iron, like that specific strand through. I angle my iron down like this, and then I wrap it around quickly at the base and make sure that the hair is close together, that there's no gaps. And I hold it until about three Mississippi, and then I let it go, but I let it go to the point where I'm still holding on to the end of the strand and then I let it go once it's free from the iron. So I'll take another section, brush it through, angling it down, wrapping it around the base quickly. One, two, three, still holding on to the bottom, letting it go and then dropping the piece with my other hand. So I pretty much just go all the way around, down, Wrapping at the base, all the way around, close together. One, two, three, pull it, let it go. Sometimes the pieces near your neck at the back can be hard to get to. So normally what I do is I kind of just part in the back down the middle and pull it all forward and then curl those pieces from here. Instead of reaching all the way back, try to pull at it from there, pull from here. And just use the same method and obviously be careful not to get your ear or your neck and let it go. Another thing that I like to do to make sure that I've to make sure that I've gotten everything is to use a mirror. I definitely recommend before you take out the top layer of your hair to keep going on the top layer to take a look in your, your mirror to make sure you didn't miss any pieces. A few moments later. Alright, so it's been a few minutes. I'm all done my bottom layer. So now I'm going to take out my elastic up here. And I'm going to do my top layer. Now you're pretty much just going to do the exact same thing for the top layer as you do for the bottom layer. I'm going to take this front piece. I tend to do the front piece is a bit thinner because I find they don't hold as well as the other pieces because they're the pieces you tend to touch the most, put behind your ear the most, that sort of thing. I tend to take smaller pieces and hold it a little longer on the barrel, but you can do whatever you want. And I also don't put it all the way at the top because I find it the closer I go to the root with the top pieces, the more kind of funny it can look and the volume will be up here instead of, you know, where your face is. And then I'll do the other piece here. Out I like this is where I start. One, two, three. There we go. And then you just keep going all the way around your head. Again, for the top layer, I tend to start a little lower. I don't start all the way up here. I start at about ear height. Right about there. There we go. I'll finish the rest of my hair so you can see what it looks like. 
two hours later. All right, so I'm all done. Here's the back. Curled everything, hopefully, and then the front. Now this is uh, the last step. I either use my fingers to brush it through or I use the brush. You could start with your fingers and then if you don't like it, then you could just brush it through. I just completely comb my hair through with my fingers from the roots all the way to the bottom. This is what it looks like with my fingers through it. And I'll also brush it through so you can see what that looks like. <laughs> on camera it doesn't look much different but it's a little bit smoother and um, shinier when it's brushed through. I don't use any hairspray. I only um, curl my hair about twice a week. I curl it once and then I don't curl it again until I wash it because it stays. So what I do is I just gather all my hair kind of at the top of my crown like not all the way up here but up here. And this is how I sleep with my hair every night. Pull it up into a ponytail, pull it all the way through until I pretty much have the, the ends of my hair at my fingertips. And then I hold it in place and just tie it into a bun. There's probably going to be some loose pieces here. Just leave them. Don't do anything with this bun. Don't tuck them in. Don't do anything else. And then I go to sleep like this. When I wake up in the morning, I take it out. It's normally all still there. And when I wake up, I'll normally just like, fix the front few pieces um, because they're the ones that tend to go like the, the, the front pieces that kind of frame your face are the ones that are the most important. It, it works really well on hair that's not as fresh. I think, trying to think back, I wash my hair Thursday morning and it's Saturday night now. That's pretty much it. Hopefully this works for you and you like it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'm happy to answer them. Okay, bye.